फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द ट्रायल कोर्ट एज वेल एज द हाई कोर्ट गोट परसुएटेड बाय द फैक्ट दैट द कोज ऑफ डेथ ऑफ द डिसीज एज एजाइंड इन द पोस्टमार्टम रिपोर्ट बीइंग द कार्डियो रेस्पिरेटरी फेलियर द सेम कैन नॉट बी सेड टू बी हैविंग एनी नेक्सस विद द अलेज्ड एसोल्ट दैट वाज लेड ऑन द डिसीज such approach of the trial court is not correct and cannot be countenanced in law the post mortem report by itself does not constitute substantive evidence whether the cardio respiratory failure had any nexus with the incident in question would have to be determined on the basis of the oral evidence of the eye witnesses as well as the medical officer concerned that is the expert witness who may be examined by the prosecution as one of its witnesses to put it in other words whether the cause of death has any nexus with the alleged assault on the deceased by the accused persons could have been determined only after the recording of oral evidence of the eye witnesses and the expert witness along with the other substantive evidence on record the post mortem report of the doctor is his previous statement based on his examination of the dead body it is not substantive evidence the doctor's statement in court is alone the substantive evidence the post mortem report can be used only to corroborate his statement under section 157 or to refresh his memory under section 159 or to contradict his statement in the witness box under section 145 of the evidence act 1872 a medical witness called in as an expert to assist the court is not a witness of fact and the evidence given by the medical officer is really of an advisory character given on the basis of the symptoms found on examination the expert witness is expected to put before the court all materials inclusive of the data which induced him to come to the conclusion and enlighten the court on the technical aspect of the case by explaining the terms of science so that the court although not an expert may form its own judgment on those materials after giving due regard to the expert's opinion because once the expert's opinion is accepted it is not the opinion of the medical officer but of the court the prosecution should have been given opportunity to prove all the relevant facts including the post mortem report through the medical officer concerned by leading oral evidence and thereby seek the opinion of the expert it was too early on the part of the trial court as well as the high court to arrive at the conclusion that since no serious injuries were noted in the post mortem report the death of the deceased on account of cardio respiratory failure can not be said to be having any nexus with the incident in question whether the case falls under section 302 or 304 part 2 ipc could have been decided by the trial court 
only after the evaluation of the entire oral evidence that may be led by the prosecution as well as by the defense if any comes on record stop